Hello and welcome to my renovation. <laughs> um, this is part of my house that I'm renovating right now. So I have uh, decided to put LAN cables or RJ45 everywhere. So this is a Cat6 cable coming out the wall. And that goes all the way up in this attic space here and it goes all the way over to my UDM Pro um, because this is gonna be an area for the kits for the TV and Xbox and PlayStation, that sort of stuff. So I'm going to put in this. Now I'll show you what it is. It's a in-wall HD access point. And this is a 802.11ac 4x4 MIMO. So it's super powerful, 4x4 channels. Um, and the kicker is that this is both an access point, so when you plug it into the LAN cable here, and it also has four ports at the bottom for, you know, um, just LAN cables or RJ45 that you can um, attach your TV or your Xbox or your PlayStation, whatever. So they have wired connections. So it's both wireless and wired. Very cool. Okay, let's have a look what's in the box. Knife here. So this is I haven't I haven't I haven't done one of these before, so we shall go through this together. So very neat little packaging here. Let's take this out. So what have we got here? So there's the actual access point, it takes up most of the box. Um, there's where you obviously plug in the cable into there. Um, it comes with a wall plate, which isn't that down here. So that's the wall plate that we're going to put on here and then attach the in-wall HD access point to like that. And it just sits on the wall there. Um, so that's really all there is to it. There's also a few screws in the box that I'm not sure I can use because I don't actually have a backing plate. So I'm going to have to um, figure out my own system, I think. But that's it. Super simple. And then uh, when we've installed it, I'll also show you the software side of it when we adopt it and uh, get it up and going. All right, let's put this on. Now, I don't have the right screws, but we're gonna make it work. Put that right over there in the middle. Ideally, you'd want a spirit level, but you know what? I think my eyesight's relatively good. Leave that there, and I'm gonna use these screws that I found in my stash. So I'm not using the gazetted screws that came with it because they're meant to have a bracket behind them, and I just don't have a bracket behind this wall. Now this is a old farm homestead from the 1940s, and you'd be amazed these walls are plastered old school style. And they actually see it sits really well. So I'm okay with that solution. You might not be, you might wanna use the correct screws and brackets that comes with it. But to be honest, this will be a good solution for this particular spot. Okay. No. That is on. That is not going anywhere. All right, so we take this off. Yeah, protective cover on this. Like so. And see here in the bottom, there's the four ports I was talking about before. So there's a cover for it that we will put on in just a minute. More protective covering here. So then we obviously plug that back in, in the back. That's the key, like that. And then that goes into the wall again. Don't lose it, I'll never get it out again. And you can see that's now flashing here, it's got power. But obviously I haven't um, set it up yet. So. Uh -huh. Slight problem. Hold's oh, not big enough. So it turns out I need to cut this out more. Okay. Plus the knife or saw, what do you want to call it? I'm not a Look at that. Not the gazetted way, but you know what? It worked. And it's the perfect template. And now, 
a bit of luck. Oh, almost. Perfect. Like that install? <laughs> And you can see the lights on, so it's got power, it's started up, it's ready to be adopted. Oops. Go. And then we can put the cover on. And there's a little security tap up there. So if we want to get the cover off, you have to press that down. So it goes on like that. All right, it's in. But um, that was an interesting install. Well, not only did I <laughs> ignore the template, that's the size hole you need, so I cut it out in situ. Maybe not the right way to do it, but it worked. It's in there. And then this cover here was surprisingly difficult to get on. There's little two taps at the bottom that need to slot into place, and it took me a good five minutes to do it. Um, but now it's in, and it's on the wall, it's not going anywhere. So let's see how we adopt it in the software, in the, uh, in the Unify controller. I'm in the Unify controller. I'm running version 6.0.43 for uh, this particular point in time. If I go to my devices, you will now see that the, the new in-wall HD access point is there, ready to be adopted. So if I click on it, it's right there at the bottom. I can click Adopt. And that will just go through this very standard process in Unify of adopting a new access point into the system. It takes a few minutes. Obviously, editing makes you, you know, not having to watch that. And when it's provisioned, you now see that it's connected wirelessly. And that is purely because I forgot to enable the port on my switch uh, to let it connect through the switch. So it's connected wirelessly to one of the other access points in the house. So if I go to my primary 24 port switch here, there's the port that now needs to be enabled. I just uh, you know, edit that port and I can then change the profile from disabled to all, which is the default profile for enabling that port. That was all I had to do. Um, I had to change the mesh settings a little bit, but then it connected just fine through the switch and I now just have another access point. Now in here for the uh, configuration of that particular access point, the in, uh, in wall HD, I can change the name because I like to do that. I like to know where things are. This is the rompers room access point. And then that just changes the name and now I have a new HP, uh, HD rather, access point with four ports. So I can go to the ports tab here and this looks pretty much like any other switch on Unify in the Unify ecosystem. I can change these ports uh, and actually the first port also has PoE, PoE pass through. So I can power things uh, with 24 volt passive I believe it is. And um, I can name the ports, I can do whatever else I normally would do with a switch. And that was it for this tutorial and my install and my setup. If you subscribe to my channel, uh, just down below, you can get a lot more videos just like this on Unified tutorials and other things. And please leave a comment if you've installed one, if you have questions about this particular device, happy to answer them. And of course, like my video if you did like it. Otherwise, uh, hopefully you like the next one if you subscribe. That was it for now. Thank you very much. See you later.